What's up everybody? My name is Cap, the Everyday Gamer, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. This is episode 3, I believe, and this one we are going to start off with some nighttime patrolling. My duties are to follow this dog around, and uh, if I see a bad guy, to lasso him, try not to kill him, and get some cash for, you know, hog tying him, basically. So don't get to see me follow a dog around. Here's a little pro tip for you. Um, the dog does not like being lassoed. <laughs> And, um, what happened was, I had just got my lasso, was running around town seeing what all I could lasso, and after I found out that chickens, rabbits, and fence posts didn't work, I decided to see if the neighborhood dog would react. So I lassoed him. He proceeded to get pissed off that I drug him around town, so I thought I'd be nice and let him go. Well, that started a fight. I didn't want to kill the dog, so I went, you know, fist only and just beat the hell out of him, kicking him, knocking him down. After about ten minutes of... Him not giving up, I finally just knifed him, which instantly led to the posse chasing me all over town. Ended up having to hightail out of town and then sneak back in and pay my bounty. So, um, and then after that, I was just like, screw it, I'm not gonna have to deal with all that. Plus, I like the dog, you know, he's a good little mutt. So, I just reloaded from a previous save. So, if you haven't played the game yet, don't piss off the dog, he's not too much fun to play with. <laughs> so, anyway, um, Right now, I'm just kind of wandering him, you know, wandering around with him. Sorry, um, basically just follow the blue dot. If you played this game, you know he kind of wanders around, lost for a little bit, and then I'm assuming he'll probably find a horse thief or you know a cattle rustler or something. Then I'll have to go drag him off a horse. Hopefully, I don't have to chase him down on foot, but we'll see. But anyway, uh, we are about to begin a chase, I believe. Let's see what we can find. Now he said, sick em, boy. But what I heard was, chopper, sick balls. <laughs> I love that line. I had to throw it in there and it just seemed appropriate. So, get him, boy. Now this game is a lot of fun. I haven't got to play it as much in the last week or so just because I've been busy with other things and, you know, been doing a little bit more Minecraft stuff. And, you know, for people who've actually been paying attention, you see my channel's blown up lately and... You know, uh, Blame Truth has a big chunk to do with that. You know, he tweeted my uh, Minecraft Nuketown video, and uh, I'm sorry, not that video, although he may have done that one too. But uh, my how to bid in the spirit of Halo, a little sack tap for you, sir. Good job. <laughs> so, anyway, I appreciate the uh, bump from Blame Truth and all of you people that are new to my channel. Welcome. Hopefully, you enjoy my videos and hang out for a bit. I'm not going to talk about the gameplay too much because the next thing I'm going to do is basically just ride. But I had a funny story when I was playing and unfortunately I wasn't recording because I wish I would have. As I said, I just got my lasso and I was kind of curious as to what all I could rope. So I started off with everything in town, you know, horses, people, and figured out what I can and can't do without pissing people off. So anyway, I headed out in the gun trim thinking, ooh, maybe I can rope a buck. So I go, you know, traipsing through the countryside on my horse, cannot find a ho uh, buck anywhere. But I do find a wild boar. I'm like, oh, cool, that'll work out pretty good. So I chase him down, lasso him, I jump off my, or I'm sorry, I'm still on my horse. I'm fighting with him, just kind of dragging him around, just messing with him there. I hear this cowboy come running up over the hills, and you know, help me, help me, help me. You got to save me, please, sir, I need a ride. I'm like, well, can you not see I've got a 400-pound boar, you know, roped up, and I'm dragging him around here. Can you, sorry, but I'm a little bit busy. So he runs right up next to me. And so says, here, I think this is a better idea. And he grabs me and pulls me off the horse, jumps on, and takes off running <laughs> on my horse. So, yeah, um, instead of letting me helping him, he decided to throw me off the horse right next to a boar that I just pissed off for the last two minutes by dragging him all over the countryside. So here I am, no horse. I'm already hurting because I just fell off a horse, and now this boar is attacking me. So anyway, I finally managed to kill that boar. I look up and here comes another one. So I kill him as well. I get up over the hill and decide I'll see what happens. So I whistle. Lo and behold, here comes my horse. I get on and I don't take two steps and a boar comes charging from the side. Hits my horse, kills him instantly, knocks me off. I go rolling back down the hill. He comes and another boar decided to jump on the little game he had going on with me and just proceeded to maul me. Surprisingly, I managed to get away, but just barely. So in the course of about a minute, I had to kill five boar, a cowboy stole my horse, and another horse died. 
Well, since he had just died, I couldn't call another one in right away, and I was a little bit away from town, so then I had to haul my wounded carcass back into town. Never did get my horse back. I have no idea where the guy went, but I was just laughing the whole time. I was like, man, why couldn't I have got this recorder? That would be so damn funny for everybody to see. I'm sure you guys would have appreciated that. Anyway, so here I'm just heading towards the marker. Um, I'm not one to follow the roads, so I'm just, you know... Not quite sure who said it. The shortest distance distance between any two points is a straight line, so that's kind of my tactic. But I see somebody in a little bit of trouble, so I thought I would uh, swing over and give him a little bit of a hand. Looks like he's being held up, and well, that ain't gonna fly, especially if I can do a drive-by. Yeah, it would have been a little bit more impressive if I'd had a pistol in my hand. I could have busted a cap in some gangster cowboy butt. <laughs> Oh my god, that's retarded. Anyway, um, take out these uh, bandits, I guess you'd call them. Get my fame up, run around, loot some bodies, and then just go about my merry way. I'm liking the weather system in the game. I always like games that have a dynamic weather system. You know, most RPGs do. It goes from rainy to sunny to cloudy, whatever. I kind of wish they had more... Uh, violent storms, you know. I mean, this is like in the south here, Tornado Alley. I'd like to see a big damn F5 twister go twisting through the mountains and just destroying stuff. And uh, graphically, I think it'd be awesome. But you know, I think that's a little bit more dynamic than they want to do. Besides just rain and sunshine. So <laughs> anyway, um, video's wrapping up. It's not too long of a video, but hope you guys liked it. I'd appreciate it if you'd give the video a thumbs up and, you know, tell your friends, share it, and be sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and uh, I will talk to you guys later.